Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we are checking out a game that uh, may be a little bit of infamy at the moment on the PlayStation Network. It is Planet 2000. It, alongside a couple of very, very, very obviously early access games, have um, really caught a lot of people's attentions lately on the PlayStation Network. And I don't want to go really hard at them in any way, shape, or form just yet, but... Triskelia games, you might be in bad company with the other two that have actually been floating around because they are awful. They are hard and awful and ugly and I really hope, I really hope Planet 2000 is something that's an oddity but still entertaining to play. Especially because these guys actually gave me this key to play this game and there's something about it that catches my attention. I don't know what you... You might not be able to figure out what it is just yet. You might not you might not see it. You might not see it sitting here somewhere. You don't know. Maybe it's possibly it's something like in the background of another image that's somewhere on the screen. I don't know what you could think it might be. But um, yeah, this game has some FMV elements and I want to see what they are. If they if these are if these are like you know, uncomfortably bad shot FMV sequences... All right, it's funny, but if these are actually like gloriously bad, this could actually be a lot of fun. So let's take a wee look at Planet 2000. Oh, oh, Planet 2000, you don't, you don't do yourself favors. Come on, guys. So yeah, uh, music volume, sound effect volume, voice volume, controls, classic. I, oh, oh. So multiplayer uh, can. There's campaign, skirmish, and scare split screen. So, my campaign is the single player missions. Skirmish is the uh, AI randomization. And split screen is multiplayer, either co op or versus. So, we'll just jump straight into the campaign here and see what we got. Oh, no. See, I think what the problem is is that the PlayStation Network has opened itself up to a lot of like mobile platform games. And because of that, there's not quite a quality control going on here. But let's take a look. So, uh, player, Connor, and Valora. Let's see what Connor and Valora are up to. Welcome to Planet 2000, Commander. I'm Captain England. You're Hello, England! wondering why the Alliance pulled you off your last assignment so abruptly. Here's our situation. We found remnants of alien technology on this otherwise dead planet. My team has been trying to recover it. The problem is the coalition knows about it as well, and they sent their own team. This I'm sure they did. And whoever recovers it first could have huge economic and military advantages. Oh, it's, 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 it's a very simple green screen. With weapons. Uh, it's a good green screen. It's a good key. It's better than my key, as you we may have noticed. <laughs> and we've been putting up a fight. But there were only... Keying in keying. You here, we're hoping. I could actually, I could take that backdrop. I could use that backdrop. Oh, you should talk. Oh, fantastic! I've got my own spaceship now. For your first tactical mission. Okay. Tactical briefing from girls in black tops. <laughs> we'll be piloting Scout class hover speeders. Our speeders have been armed with. Oh, okay. It's it's what it's beautiful it's that I'm um, actually like th this is all FMV sequence actually doing the tutorial. So it's all show, don't, it's all tell, don't show, <laughs> and show at the same time. But um, the, the IF, FMV sequence, I, I thought this might have been like for choosing your teammates or like story based information. But the fact that it's actually uh, all tutorial based is really, really weird. Um, I'm, I'm going to reserve my judgments on the gameplay until I get to play the gameplay. But wow, okay. This is an interesting take. It's a different way to go. But um. Obviously, these are all um, uh, paid actresses to actually like reading off teleprompts or actually reading off of um, the final material. It, it's um, there's no characterization going on here. This is I, I mean the, this is meant to be derogatory in any shape or form, but this is actually as about as um, you know engaged and uh, chemistry filled as some of the video strip poker games I've played over the years. And to be honest, a lot of them actually were a lot more um, intense. We would say some of the players were actually really, really into talking to you. You know, they, they had plenty to say in between their hands. That will attack the enemy base. If these drones get destroyed, they will respawn. So we've essentially got the idea of like a base defense respawning drones that go out you to attack each point. I think it's like trying to take the MOBA method of actually like uh, you've always got those enemies flowing in and flowing in and flowing in. And then if there are a few of those are taken down. 
uh, so, you can then get access to the towers, and then they're all being they're all cannon fodder for you to attack the tower whenever they get to that point, which is simple enough. I mean, essentially, we're going to be sky, running around in scouts, probably switch to bigger vehicles and bigger vehicles as this game goes along. Single coalition pilot named Connor. Well, fuck Connor. Connor. Give us your bad Connor. Two of us. This will be a good opportunity. Nom, 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 nom. Give us your bad. Let's get going. No, Connor. Connor McGregor, what are you doing? Ah, Connor punch. Spawning. Not, not even loading, but we're spawning. Okay. Uh, so basic controls. Uh, L2, R2. Very low, slow guide. Uh, that's actually... Acquired. Oh. Post acquired. Yeah. So what do we do with this? Do I have to run to these? Ah, all right. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it seems to be little wide open spaces, and I'm perturbed already. Some of them meant to be doing here. Acquired. That post acquired. Right. Okay. So, um, I move up to a location, and then they start attacking. That's uh, fine. Let's see. Do I have a drone on my side that's going to help? Is that me? Yeah, that's all me. Alright, that's Grant. Boom, that's you, Dad. Alright, so essentially I need to take over these... Alright, <laughs> there actually is a first person mode. <laughs> ah, I can't figure out what I'm doing. Alright, I'm assuming these guys are going to go and attack wherever the fuck I am. Alright, so that's what it is. Essentially, you're bite battling for points back and forth. So, as you can see, the gameplay is really, really simplified down. Tiny little space, uh, well not tiny little space, but big wide open blank space that actually has nothing really going on in it. Um, this is, this is really unexciting. <laughs> it's great to look at the first person lunacy that's here. Look at it, it's amazing, isn't it? Jesus. <laughs> So, Red acquired. Uh, this is going to just be semi sound lunacy for me, just like playing through this. Like, this, it's got a fairly decent kind of like hectic music soundtrack. That's cool. Um, the game is slow paced, not all that interesting. Um, Outpost destroyed. Red outpost acquired. So I need to move out of there so I'm not getting shot. Wait around until my drones come around. Yeah. Blue outpost acquired. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to get to figure out how to actually like shoot so as long as I'm encroaching forward I'll always kind of like circle strafe around and then there is a lock-on for whenever you're playing this so I have to say that those particular couple of combinations of tricks is fairly proficient um, I'm not too sure if I can actually consider this like a well put together game, but there's something there. There's um 
an element of gameplay <laughs> that's actually usable. So let's see, am I actually in control of both these uh, areas now? Because otherwise they're going to shoot me. No, no, that's grand. There we go, that's him shot and dead. And now all we need to do is move on to the last location. Is that it? Did I get ammo from here? Yeah? Yes? No? Yes? Oh, turbo! That's even better! Oh god. Ah, uh, shit! Yep. Disabled. Red base under attack. Jesus! That guy just like locked onto me and then just wouldn't give up and I was emptying everything I had into him. So, yeah, the, the difficulty of the, um, the, the opponent pilot is really kind of like very clearly put across and constantly having to boost your way back into battle from back here is awful it's uh, because you, you you only have enough boost to get halfway there on the first go and then look i'm watching the end i'm watching the computer take down the base without me because i just can't boost to get there to it that's a little bit fucked that's really unenjoyable oh come on come on Let me fly! Red base under attack. God. Red base under attack. Ba, 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 bum, 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 bum. Well, there we go. That is the first level of Planet 2000. Oh, God. Right, I, I'm going to look at Gravel Canyon just because, all right, so this is 2v2, but I, I'm doing this because I'm willing to bet there's FMV cutscenes between each one of them, and I want to see what the actresses are like for each of these. All right. Welcome back. Same character, same uh, Commander England. I'm sending you and Valora to retake Gravel Canyon. This area is being guarded by... This area is being guarded. And it has Nine... Five are located straight up the center. There are also two alternate routes with two outposts each. You'll need to make some strategic decisions. Will I need to make some strategic decisions? Will I? Will I? Go see Valora. I'm sure she'll have some more tips for you. Hey, Valora. Show me all your tips. Here are a few more things you should know. You may have noticed that several power-ups can be found around the battle. Really? Because I, they drop out of me every single time I goddamn die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's going to be health. Plus, Red Cross. Isn't that a thing? You can't use Red Crosses in video games anymore. Guys, Triskelion Games. Is it Triskelion? Tri that's, that's from the Marvel Avengers? Oh, oh man. A few areas, including the next one. Power-ups that... No, sorry, Valora. I... Oh, for a second there, I thought I wasn't going to be able to skip. <laughs> All right, I spawn in. I've got two routes to take, so... Uh, acquired. Okay. Red outpost acquired. So if I take this one, it'll go faster, and then she'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Blue outpost required. Come on. Red outpost acquired. Boom. Got it. Right. So moving on to the next one. So now I've got this. I figured out that what you have to do is actually get to each of these and steal them before anybody else can. That's fine. That gives you a bit more control over the location. Blue outpost. That makes sense. Blue outpost acquired. So, where's these other outposts coming from? Alright, so I don't know the map. Alright, I'm on that one. We've got that one. So, if I get this one completed, then I hammer on to the next one ahead. Right, okay, got it. So, that's three turrets. And... Four turrets! Can I get to this one before he does? Red outpost acquired. I've got three of these now. This is working for me. I'm on board. Whoa, okay. That fucker's coming. Blue acquired. Yep, as long as I stay on it, I can actually stay effective. There we go. Got it. So I can actually rebuild this one before he actually respawns in. 
I'm gonna take these all down, fuckers. Oh yeah, this is failing, crude. I'm feeling like there's progress now. Yeah, <laughs> you can't beat me. I'll take down Connor, I'll take down Lucky too. So I literally had like one tiny bit of health left. Alright, so at least all my drones are going to attack now from the same location. And now the whole point is I have to actually take back as or take down as many locations as I can. Um, that makes sense. Right, so. What do I make the choice on? Do I actually make the choice on going to the tower to the right and left? And actually re reduce their drones? Yes, I believe I shall. That sounds like a plan to me. Oh, come on. To take it down these starts. Cloud post destroyed. Okay, so yeah, they the computer actually is pretty proficient at killing off your outposts. So if you spawn out, you're going to actually have a bad time. So we've got what three? Well, we had three, but now we're down. We had four, but now we're down two. That really sucks. Uh, oh man. So yeah, they're going to actually go and attack Valora. Ah. Can't get there fast enough. Ah, come on. That's fucked up. Yeah, so you literally, and every time you die, you give them health bonuses because you're dropping them in the same location so they can reheal. That is super fucked. This stuff feels like you're actually, like, as a player, you feel like you're making the least amount of impact in the combat. Oh, man. I'm on the bed, it'll actually be, the computer will actually make more progress than I will. So Lucky and Randy are out. Oh, there we go. There's progress being made. We need to get this tar back here. Wired. Nice. Come on. I'll help you, Valora. I'll stand here and help guard. Yep. Yeah. Uh, come on. Two of us in here will actually make it quicker. Come on. There they go. That's complete. Alright, we can go and actually go and get these towers now. Yeah! out of there. Uh, <laughs> These are mine to survive. Problem is, now I have no ammo and no health. Uh, come on, get yourself back in here. Does that need defending? No, it doesn't. All right, I need healing. Okay, so let's make rock and roll here. We're gonna take these guys down. Go and take them down! Right, so we're not making much progress on taking down that one tower, so we might have to just pull on ahead. Oh shit, is that. Oh man, is that. Am I, both, am I pulling both characters away from that then? No! That's terrible! So the, the other one actually comes to follow me if I actually go that route? Ah, that's not good shit. 
Okay, so I need to lead Valera to where I want her to be. Right, there apparently is more strategic strategy to this game than I originally thought I would encounter. Let's see if it's actually um, got much growth after this. I mean, I'm, I'm essentially playing just on different maps that have the exact same concept. There's nothing really wrong with this gameplay loop. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised it's as entertaining to me as it is. I mean, I don't like these kind of like base defense games. Even whenever it's like the really high class ones that came with like PS Plus, I've actually been pretty uh, dismissive of them as of late. Whoa, there we go. Get some boost and more health. Yeah. Blue outpost acquired. You need ammo. Red outpost destroyed. Yep, there we go. And post acquired. Blue outpost destroyed. Blue outpost. Oh, come on. So it was acquired, but I actually like. <laughs> All right, so we now have. We lost the one in the middle, did we? But we actually didn't take the one at the back. So this is actually just a very slow encroaching game. It's, it's, it's not bad, but I've played better games that were free in PlayStation Home on the PS3. In fact, this does kind of remind me a bit of Salt Shooter, which is a bit odd. Um, in fact, I would love to have seen that game translated across the, the PS4. Like That would actually be a pretty decent multiplayer, but this feels... Um, what, what, what would be the word for it? It feels scant is probably the word I'm thinking of. It doesn't feel like there's actually a lot of gameplay here to be had. And I'm disappointed by that. Uh, can I actually get this point? Is it actually a point that I can get? Is that my guy? That's my guy. Happy days. All right. Valora, let me help you. Go on. Bye. <laughs> actually starts taking all my health off me. Uh, I'm just gonna keep knocking out Randy here. just me fucking bombing the hell out of the one guy to a couple of guys that actually come up in range if I can keep doing that I can actually just help push my so essentially it's all about gathering up with your teammates and actually bombing the shit out of the guys when they get within range that's essentially what all of this is. You just kind of like layer up two or three guys so you can actually like be able to attack in a straight line one after another. All right, boom, boom, come on. Yep, yeah, we're almost there. Oh shit, oh, it's just essentially the just computer turns and faces you and only you to fucking start hammering the shit out of you. Ah, that's a bit balls, but there's a lot of drones in there so we're going to slowly push them back. We're pretty much taking over all the bases that we can. Um. I'm gonna hang around down to the right and actually take down that lower right base. Uh, Valora can hold the line pretty sure on her own. All right, let's rock and roll. Red outpost destroyed. Yes, there we go. Blue outpost acquired. <laughs> Red outpost destroyed. Blue outpost acquired. Red outpost destroyed. Blue outpost acquired. One turbo. Line through the air. Red shield disabled. Turbo boost and it's done. Red base under attack. Turbo boost and it's done. Acquired. I'm trying to. There's no way I can actually hit. I can't get to the base in time. Ah! Every single time I've actually managed to miss killing the actual boss. Yes, its integrity is failing. Come on, die, 
Die! 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 <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <coughs> it's all on the first day of the job. Oh man. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I don't need any more of that. Nah. <sighs> right. Ladies and germs. This has been Planet 2000. All in. The FMV is weird. Unbelievably badly read. Um, it's a good green screen. The best compliment I can give. It's a clean green screen. It's cleaner than some of the fucking ones that I get whenever I'm doing this. So fair play to them for that. I love the backdrop. I'm going to steal that. So I actually have my own command center. I can always be on a spaceship from then onwards. Uh, Planet 2000 is a little bit of fun. It's very, 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 very limited in scope. I could see some people getting entertained by it, but there's just nothing there. Um, it's a matter of actually playing through each of the levels until your AI, your AI teammate, completes them for you, unless you go after specific targets. The first little bit of gameplay there was very slow and drudgery. The turbo boost does not last long enough to make you across the map and... Uh, even a reasonable modicum of time. The maps are barren and plain in their own space. This looks and feels like a mobile port put across to the console. I am not happy with these kind of games showing up on the PlayStation Network. Fair respects to the people who developed the games, but guys, you, I, you've essentially paid for a license to put on here and charge a price that is quite unreasonable for what you're making. This isn't asset flips. This isn't like the Steam green light garbage. It's somewhere in between. Uh, this started off as an itchy.io or itch.io game. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a, a thing was called Planet 199X or something like that, where it was just like, the beta version of this game. This is an unfinished game. It's got content. There's FMV clips and things there. It doesn't break down, but there's nothing to play that actually is not immediately apparent within a few seconds. This is a mobile app purchase at best at $1.99 and should not be in a store for anything over like $2. Like, I mean, they, this is the, if you want to play Planet 2000, go and play a demo beta of it that's sitting on PC and have a look at that. You'll get the idea. But the pretty ladies don't add anything to this. If this, if this was actually like one of those games that was like Honey Pop or... Uh, something that was actually like a, a sliding house game that would actually like have the girls being naked. I could see where the slightly sleaze kind of like way it would work. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just mental connections I have from a history of playing erotic games and uh, porn games. But that was, that was bad. That was really bad. Um, bad reads. Like you, if, you, if you're going to shoot video with actors to do something like that, then go the Tim Curry in Red Alert way. Go over the top. Be keen. Be crazy. Get people who are going to get into it and just go like, I'm going to chew the hell out of this roll. I need all the scenery around me, even though it's digital. But no, in this one, they didn't do that. That was really, really bad. Oh, man. I, it, it was repugnant. It was vile. It was purely conceived. But um, it was entertaining enough to get me to giggle a couple of times while playing, and I hope you actually like just just watch that unfold for the few minutes was in gameplay. Uh, Planet Two Thousand, not on my recommends list for this year, the beginning of this year of twenty seventeen. And um, a, 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 one of the signs, one of the uh, examples that uh, I've really, really run into in the last week and a half, two weeks of new releases that are look like they shouldn't be here. That's, that's the reason why they, they don't look like they're finished. They look like somebody that should be uh, showing as a beta demo for friends before they got their artists and sound guys and everything else involved. There's a lot, a lot of pitfalls in this. And I, I don't think... I, this isn't a, the, Consoles are not a platform for this kind of shit. PCs are a platform for this kind of stuff because you're on a development cycle, you're on a route, you're actually, you can be modifying this on a regular basis. This game's never going to get any updates. I mean, it's exactly the same as, like, uh, Adventure Capitalist. It's a game that gets thrown onto the store, gets purchased, and will never get updated to a point where it's going to be in any way viable. And to be honest, it was Arc Survival Evolved that started this process, and I'm not a big fucking fan of it. So, fuck you, games. 
I'm actually going to get angry about this, so I'm going to tamp it down and finish off my video. So, yeah, fuck you, uh, Triscale Games, whatever the fuck you're called again. What was it? What, what, what are you called? I'm going to have to actually close your game to find out. Close application. Okay. And start it again, just so I can get your name up. Triscale Games. Man, don't be... Like, you're, you yourself are putting yourself up for a lot of insult just by doing this by putting this up on there should have thought that through before you went and put onto a console platform because you're one of few one of few that are getting away with this at the moment and we all hope you are the poster child for this not happening again so yeah fuck this game uh, if you thought my thought if you enjoy my thoughts about planet 2000 and you want to know more make sure to hit the subscribe button that'll pop up up here in the top corner of the screen you can see all my videos by actually clicking on that and over here on the side there's other games i've been looking at lately some trailers and stuff that are very relevant to this fucking game so you might want to click on those as well to check them out um guys this has been a piece of garbage here on try pass your skin and i hope i don't run into it's like again so um, i'll see all you dudes until the next video Bye.